It is May 22nd, 2019, and welcome to another episode of Gaming Today. I'm the Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick, and today we have a Dark Souls and Game of Thrones creator collaboration. Oh my lord, is it my birthday? That sounds incredible. And Pokemon creators Game Freak are looking to make a game, quote unquote, more exciting than Pokemon. Uh, I make gaming today every weekday, so hit that subscribe button if you would like to stay up to date with the latest and greatest video game news. So, let's get into it. George R. R. Martin, creator of the Game of Thrones series, I'm not talking about the ending, let's move on, is teaming up with From Software's Miyazaki on an upcoming title that will be published by Bandai Namco. Game Radar Zoe Dalhunty Light writes, George R. R. Martin has apparently joined forces with From Software, but don't assume it's going to be set in the world of Game of Thrones, as rumors have it that this game, titled Great Rune, supposedly is set in the Norse world, exploring Norse mythology and all of its legends. Martin himself confirmed in a blog post that he's consulted on a video game out of Japan, yet before this official confirmation, there were already reports of the collection collaboration surfacing earlier this year. But we won't have to depend on rumors for long. This is where it gets exciting. As other sources say that the game is going to be shown off at this year's E3. Oh my god. Joe Pesci goodness, I hope that's true. Whisperings began circling on the internet in early 2019 and went into a lot more detail about what players can expect. You'll be invading kingdoms and stealing the powers of their rulers after a From Software style battle, which will then serve you well when you have to fight other kings. Man, if someone could please pinch me so that I can wake up from this absolute Fucking dream. This is so incredible. If someone was like, hey, could you, why don't you do me a favor and describe your perfect video game? I'd be like, well, you know, the, the guy that wrote my favorite TV show of, one of my favorite TV shows, one of my favorite TV shows of all time, mixed with, you know, my favorite melee combat ever, my favorite melee combat system ever. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. George R. R. Martin, Miyazaki, Souls Like, let's do it. I'm ready to rock on this. Oh, and it's set in a Norse mythology background, which, given the rumors that we could have a Norse um, Assassin's Creed this year, we just had God of War last year, we're a bit Norse heavy, but I'll take it. It was nice to see uh, Sekiro in a samurai landscape, a, a less dark landscape than Dark Souls, and it's just cool to have that combat style in a new world. So let me know in the comments if you're hype. I think I'm... I'm I would want to say that I'm glowing like a pregnant woman from this news, hmm? Because it's amazing. This is some of the best video game news I've gotten in a long time. I actually had to do a double take when I read that for the first time, so super pumped. On to the next news of the day from one of my favorite game developers to the next. Game Freak, the makers of Pokemon, spoke with VGC, and Nintendo enthusiast John Frisia writes, Pokemon Sword and Shield are due out on Switch later this year, and a brand new Switch-exclusive turn-based RPG called Town, which I am incredibly pumped for and looks great, is also tentatively releasing this year. Game Freak talked with VGC about how the company has become more ambitious in this regard lately. The developer has a desire to make something that can perhaps surpass Pokemon for thrills. And I just want to take a break here real quick. I love Pokemon, and yes, we're sort of getting what we expect with Sword and Shield. It's not doing anything Breath of the Wild game-breaking, but I think Pokemon's pretty exciting and unexpected because every world's a new world with tons of different Pokemon, but I guess that's neither here nor there. Programmer Masuke... And now, and I said that incredibly wrong, but please forgive me, who also directed Giga Wrecker Alt explains that Game Free currently has three components, Team 1, Team 2, and a new arm and d division. Team 1 is Gear Project, which works on developing original game properties. So far, Gear Project has yielded Harmonk Knight, Pocket Card Jockey, Tembo the Badass Elephant, and Giga Wrecker. That's a great name, Tembo the Badass Elephant. Team 2 is the Pokemon team, so we know what they're working on. And the new R&D division is building a basic library of tools for game-free projects so that teams don't need to start from scratch again with every new project. This division of labor is allowing the efficiency that makes simultaneous projects like Pokemon Sword and Shield and Town 
possible. Anui said, Game Freak as a company is prioritizing gear project more than Pokemon in general. We're always trying to create something that is equally exciting or more exciting than Pokemon. So, like I said before, I'm really excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I am so excited for Town to get something new from Game Freak that looks... The art style for Town looks so beautiful, and I love turn-based RPGs, especially Game Freak turn-based RPGs, as they made the first one that I ever played was Pokemon Red. Represent Charmander's daughters. And I do want to say that one of the games that they mentioned, that Gear Project, came out with was Giga Wrecker, and I actually played that a bit ago. I got a review code and didn't review it. I guess I'm naughty, but I should have done that. Um... I wasn't a big fan. It's cool. It's a platformer with some strange mechanics that I didn't even really get a full grasp of. I wasn't a huge fan of it, sort of from the rip. I was like, sometimes you just know that this isn't for me. I should have given it more time, but I didn't do a proper review, so don't hold it against me. But... I do like what they're doing here, and they're trying new things. Giga Wrecker was a platformer, and obviously that's out of their wheelhouse, so I'm curious to see where they're going to end up. Eventually, a company like this, which this seems like an innovative, good approach to finding some new gold, you know what I mean? Like finding a next hot project, a next hot IP, and I feel like once they... They'll just be digging, digging in this gear project for a while and then eventually strike gold and be like, oh, yeah, this is money. Check our new awesome project. So I'm excited for when that day comes. Like I said, I played uh, Giga Wrecker Alt and I haven't even heard um, too much about the other projects, but I imagine that we're going to get some more projects from them. And this is purely speculation, but I imagine we're going to get more projects where they're just trying out new stuff and seeing what sticks. So hopefully trying out those new things will get us to a fully realized project in future that is truly badass. So let me know down in the comments if you're excited for Town, if you've played some of these games that I mentioned that uh, Gear Project has made and you really love them. Also let me know in the comments how pumped you are for Pokemon Sword and Shield and which copy you're gonna get. So that's all that I have for today, May 22nd, 2019. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow because of course I have another episode of Gaming Today. Be sure to subscribe at my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox, or if you're a listener, please subscribe on the podcast app that you're already listening to. Thank you so much for tuning in and see you next time, gamers. Gamers.